Hey guys, let's take a minute talking about uh, ramping so we better understand why we do it and, and how it can help you uh, have better workouts. So uh, simply put, ramping is, is to help you mentally prepare for a task and physically prepare for a task. And, and there can be a general ramping and specific. So what would general ramping be? Well, it would be our, our warm-up when we start our dynamic warm-up. It's not task specific. We do lots of different types of movements, mobility, coordination, um, muscle activation. And then a specific ramp would be more of like a quote-unquote warm-up set uh, Within it with a squat or a deadlift, or it's very movement specific um, relating to what you're about to do. Uh, so, uh, now that we've kind of talked about what it is, uh, consider this. Right, if we're going to make, we're going to take either path, and we're going to say both of them are, are doable, uh, which one is more manageable and repeatable and gives you more options? Okay, uh, the dude down here, all right, at the bottom of this hill. And he, his final destination is here, or this dude down here who has to come and climb up this cliff face. And uh, his only option is all the way up or all the way down. Okay. Now obviously option B here is going to cause a lot more stress. Right? From going from no stress to literally a max effort from here to here is not simple. It's not easy. It's, it's very high in stress. This one, right, we can take steps. We build our way up, hence why we call it ramping, right? Because we're going up this ramp to reach the height of our work. And so as this relates to uh, lifting, well, this applies to basically our quote unquote warm-up sets. We are ramping up the system uh, for a specific, uh, specific task. Uh, we're, we're ramping up mentally and physically to make sure we feel like we, sh we want to feel, like we need to feel. Uh, and so the stronger you get, the more of these ramping sets you may need. Uh, in fact, you will need because it's going to take longer to mentally get where you want to be and physically to get where you want to be uh, because you can produce more force um, and it takes longer to activate all of those force producing mechanisms um, that, that your nervous system and your muscles are capable of, of outputting, but you can't just flick it like it with a switch. So it takes some time to build that up. For example, this would be an example of, of a standard deadlift day for me. We're going to say that I'm working up to, a, to a, my first work set around 475 pounds or so. Okay, this is very realistic as far as what I would do. Okay, so we're, this is after a general ramp. Okay, just like we do. Uh, and then I would start with more specific ramp, okay, which would be this. Bar RDL for five, one plate for five, two plate for five, three plate for three, 365 for two, four or five for one, 455 for one, and my eighth ramp set, my eighth ramp set, I'm finally getting to my first, or my first set is my eighth set. It's seven ramp sets building up to it. Now, like I said, I can deadlift well over 500 pounds, so the average person may not need that many but the point is I'm not doing it just for the heck of it I'm doing it because that's the only way that I can feel like I want to feel to get my max output and it, it ensures me that I'm confident going in to my first work set that I feel like I need to that my arousal levels and my mental state is what it needs to be uh, so this is really what why we ramp and what's the purpose of it and it really matters and this and the stronger you get the more experience you get um, with strength training the more you're going to know the difference between being fully ramped here like an, like an ultimate state of readiness where you're you're kind of ready for peak performance versus maybe here okay in the middle and because when you're first starting it's hard to really tell um, physically and mentally if okay i think i'm ready for the lift but the more experience you get and, and, and the more mentally attuned you are to how you want to feel uh, you're going to start to understand what like optimum readiness feels like okay and this takes experience and, and it also takes uh, an aggressive approach when you lift but it has tremendous value uh, in preparing you to perform better and develop your confidence and 
right? The, the beautiful thing about a ramp, right, is you can always go back or stay the same. You don't have to keep going up. If there's a day it doesn't feel like it should, or if that knee's a little achy, uh, maybe I shouldn't put another plate on the bar. Maybe I should go roll it out, or maybe I should uh, do another set of this weight, or maybe I should lower the weight. And so it gives you some op options to adjust versus here to here doesn't. It's, uh, we're going for it all right now, no matter what, and we're gonna hope for the best, okay? So now hopefully that provided some insight on ramping, why we do it, why it's important. And uh, if you have any questions about it, as always, let me, knew, let me know, but uh, let's try to start applying this moving forward.